It was Saturday night football at Favre Stadium. The Yellow Jackets hosted Alfred State in the second game of the season. And there was a light rain through most of the game. Yes, we are. You are. Here we go. The Uvar with the ball early in the first, and Daniel Papantonis took the handoff and followed some great blocking and ran it 56 yards for the game's first touchdown. It was 7 to nothing, Yellow Jackets. Still in the first quarter, the U of R with a 13 play drive and Will Varney finished it off with a two yard score. It was 14 nothing Rochester after one. Still in the second, the Yellow Jackets defense with a big play due to Thomas, a sophomore with the interception and a nice return. Just after the turnover, the U of R offense converted and Ryan Rose to Jackson Kane, 13 yards for the score and it was 21 to nothing. Later in the second, the U of R on the move again, Rose to Trey Johnson for the big game, 37 yards. He had seven receptions for 72 yards on the night. And that set up the scoring play. Rose to Aiden Papantonis, for the four yard touchdown. Rochester was in control, 28 to nothing. Then this was still in the second quarter. Rose with the pass and Nate Mills pulled in the one handed catch. Nice play. And to complete the drive, Daniel Papantonis scored the one yard TD. He ran for 154 yards on the night and it was 35 to nothing. Rochester at the half. It stayed that way until the fourth, and this was Rose with a nine-yard touchdown run. He passed for 176 yards, two touchdowns, and this rushing TD, it was 42 to nothing. And then late in the game, after a nice drive, Anthony Pucciarelli took it in himself, and the U of R with a convincing 49 to seven victory over Alfred State. And the win, even the Yellow Jackets record at one and one on the season. It's a beautiful night in Rochester, baby. Yes, sir. After last week where you know, we, we just fell short at, at the end, um, it was important to, to bounce back and, and get a, a win of any kind, but it was really nice for the kids to put together four quarters of, of team football. Um, we talked all week about um, playing to a high standard that we have set um, and making it really about us this week and, and putting all three phases together for four quarters. And for the most part, I think we did that. We showed a lot of confidence tonight um, and a lot of will to play together, let the secondary cook and then the linebackers step up. And obviously the D-line always does this thing. So um, we were able to play the team football, um, the offense helped the defense, the defense helped the offense, and obviously we come out with a big win tonight, so that's huge. Uh, just about everything. Defense really stepped up. Uh, they had a great week last week, had a great week this week. Um, offense kind of figuring it out, uh, getting that balance back that we've been lacking. Uh, just being able to fire on all cylinders, O-line produced all day, receivers making big plays, quarterback putting the ball on the money. It's just, it's all coming together, all the hard work. To come out and make this kind of statement at home is huge for our program. I'm proud of everybody around us. It was a great showing up front by our offensive line. Um, our defense held them out. I'm counting it as a shutout. It was a great game. Um, now we're on to the next one. It definitely will give us momentum for the next weeks to come. And uh, we're so glad to come out and show really what we got, you know? Uh, and when we are out there, I feel like we dominated totally. And that's just exciting. As a team, it brings the juice together. And I'm really excited and I'm grateful for this opportunity. Uh, and I relied on my faith, and I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Hey, here we go. We are. You are.